All right, all right, all right. My, 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 Gemini. It is I. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. And I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies is surrounding you for the month of March 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. I hope all of you guys are feeling fine and feeling festive and feeling free. Thank you for coming and chill with me. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, subscribe and let's click this video or any of my videos you guys thank you so much for all of the love and you know dedication and just like positive energy that you send over here if there's anybody that would like to book a personal and private reading or if you would like to send me a personal message or if you want to if these videos resonate and you want to send some love to the page to just help us grow and just you know show support over here Go ahead and check out my Amazon wish list. Go ahead and shoot me a message. The best way to communicate with me is um, either by email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com or Instagram Messenger. Instagram Messenger is probably the best method. Um, shoot me a message. All of that information and contact and ways to support is in the description or the about tab on my YouTube page as a pricing list and everything that you need to know. So again, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and check out the description of this video or the about tab on my YouTube page and go ahead and connect with me and we're going to make it be what it be, okay? So, you know, um, Jim and I, we always give praise, thanks, and acknowledgement to Father God, the Creator, the Universe, whatever it is that you uh call or recognize him as so if you wouldn't mind just bowing your head with me or lifting your hand and praise you know we're just gonna give him some we're gonna give god his flowers so father god thank you so much for um covering us and bringing us here today father god my 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 we definitely feel like some blessings are laid upon our footsteps right now father god and we are just so gracious and th so thankful father god we thank you for your thoughtfulness and just how you just always just provide us the correct direction to go with our life you know we don't we're, we're, we're out of that stage where we just let things ramble you know so um allow us to just sit with you for a moment father god and just you know get some wisdom for you if, if you may um we just want the guidance that we need for March. We want to continue to, you know, march on into prosperity and abundance. You know, springtime is coming. The season's about to change again. And, you know, we're in a constant state of growth, Father God. So, again, you know, in growth, it always comes with knowledge. So, Father God, if you have any knowledge that you would like to impart on Gemini today, please give us that knowledge that we need to make sure that we succeed, Father God. So, in the name of Jesus, amen. We thank you so much for your love and generosity generosity over us and our family father god amen amen and amen please give us the guidance that we need for gemini for march 2021 amen let's get into it so gemini we got the tea leaf cards i know you guys love these cards okay so we're gonna get like three over here three over here and then i have a big for i have like nine decks sitting here i'm not reading from all nine so however the spirit leads me that's where i want to go if i'm going over here to love i'm doing love if i'm doing general i'm doing general so we're going to see what happens all right so give me guidance oh okay come on we got the table hard work ahead now listen you know when they say what do you bring into the table jim and i said bitch i am the motherfucking table okay bitch i'm all right <laughs> I am the table, baby. It's about me keeping it stable around here. Ooh, what you got? Ooh, it's a lot. What you got popping on? It's flipped on out. You got the fan. Romance, celebration, and party. Ooh. Hard work ahead. A lot of... A lot of fine festive things coming you got the older woman a broken bridge i don't know if this is like your mom or something like that or this could easily be like um someone that you have dealings with in regards to some type of financial something um it says unsuccessful outcome to a problem a broken bridge with an older woman i don't know if this is like an older woman um your mother, a grandmother figure or something like that. I don't know if you kind of like, y'all are not in agreement with whatever the fuck is going on right now. And um, you might have, might be celebrating right now. I feel like it's something that's going on in your life where you feel like 
I'm bringing the table. I am the whole table. Like, I am stable. I am the definition of stability. You know, I feel like new romance is coming into your life. Like, you're celebrating. I definitely feel because it this stability, it's the stability for me. I don't know whatever it is, whatever you've done, or just you're standing in that. Very prideful, you know, very dignified in the fact that you can take care of yourself and you gonna have fun to do whatever the fuck you wanna do, basically. I don't know if your um confidence in yourself, if it pisses this person off here. I don't know what's going on with this older person. I don't necessarily feel like it's your mother, but I feel like it's something close to. It's either somebody that ever had some type of dealings with your kids. It's like ever your kid's grandmother or um, like someone. It's like a distant relative. Or, you know, like how you had these fake relatives or something like that's my old, That's my old auntie, but that ain't your blood auntie or whatever. But, mm. You got the sun rising and you got the grasshopper. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. I told you, a situation in the balance that require, that requires careful handling. The young grasshopper dealing with the older lady. So, I'm definitely getting here that you guys have moved on. I don't know if you have come up out from under needing a helping hand from this older woman, um, I don't know if this woman is fixated on having some type of control over people. Um, you know, like how you got people that, uh, it's like they always want to keep you up under their arm and needing them for something, you know, so that they can always have something to say or think that they have the ability to kind of dictate what you should do because you need their help or something. I don't think you need whoever the help this is anymore. I don't think you really value their opinion um, the way that you once did because you have your own. You have your own, Gemini. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like the sunrise is coming to you in regards to the stability in your life young grasshopper it doesn't matter how young you are like you're still a grown-ass woman or you're still a grown-ass man or whatever you see what i'm saying it's like you don't need the resources of this person and i feel like because you don't need this person no more this person over here it's like a, a old grown bitter bitch and i'm sorry you know like people that don't really is they're older, but they don't really have a lot going on in their life. So they always be in, in like the young folks business, trying to tell people what they need to do, offering unsolicited advice or putting they in, in bed and they self into some shit. And I don't know. I just, I just like I'm, I, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm completely stable without you. I, like you can't you can't tell me I feel like you're not even my mother so you you can't tell me what to do you know what I'm saying like I don't know if you guys are standing up you are it they're saying it's like some level of restriction has been broken <laughs> you know what I'm saying so it's like I'm not restricting myself or not or allowing you to dictate or place a certain value over what the fuck I should do because you think you're somebody you're not somebody you're not my mother like I'm you not Gemini's mother whoever the fuck that is so it's like go on somewhere and go find somebody else to pick on somebody that really needs your help because it's not the Gemini and that's the one that's <laughs> give me guidance give me guidance for Gemini for March what else is going on in Gemini's life thank you so much and we need to know about Okay, you got the wind chimes. Peace and harmony. I'm trying to take, look. <laughs> Ever since, like, you separate in, like, I don't know if you broke this bridge, Gemini, because it's like, I don't even want her coming over here. I don't know if you got, like, a new house, new stability, new every fuck. I don't want her coming over here. Don't tell her where I live. Like, it's peaceful. I want it to stay that way. I don't want her Come over here. It's like somebody's mother or somebody just be it just can't seem to get along. And then you got a reef. Listen, peace and harmony, but there's some sorrow over a loss. So I feel like you feel bad for like separating your children, separating your spouse or whoever the fuck this is from this mother or whoever this is. But it's like I, I understand that we're all sad because I'm telling you. I don't want her over here because 
every time this woman comes and gets involved in our family business or whatever, she brings drama. And I love her, but I love my peace and stability and the harmony and the tranquility that's in my house. It's like, have y'all ever met old people with bad energy, especially like older women that don't have, it's like that don't got no man, don't got no, that don't have nothing to do in their personal life. So they like rummage through their children's life and like go pick on the girlfriend, go pick on the boyfriend of the daughter or, you know, try to run and tell people how to raise their kids and like, no, no, no. No. Ooh. All right. And then what's this? You got the bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. The bag. like, And then you got the fire. Strong emotion. Passionate love or hate. So again, like I told you, it's somebody that. Your stability, this new job, your new foundation. You don't need this energy no more. If it's not coming to you in a positive way, it's nothing but destruction. I have my own now. It's hard work ahead of me. A piece of harmony. And clearly, I done got to the bag. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you keep a peaceful environment because this new job, this new opportunity that is filling up this bag, it is going to require a lot of uh, dedication and attention. And you can't pay attention to that shit if you got an old ass bitty bitch meddling in your goddamn affairs and trying to tell you what the fuck to do. No. You need to go somewhere. Okay? You need to go somewhere. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I swear I don't know my spirit guys just might just be with me just go somewhere go somewhere when you're lavender <laughs> that is my shit right now I just gotta just go somewhere in your lavender go you go be great in your lavender go you go <laughs> you go I'm going to focus on my bag. I'm going to miss you. I really feel sorry. But you go. It's your bitter bitty ass. What is this? Personal growth? I told you. That number seven represents withdrawal. It represents, you know, spiritual analysis, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, deep contemplation. So it's like you very much know. You sat down and thought about it. We got to separate grandma. Grandma, mm -mm. grandma cannot come over here. Girl. That girl needs to do a whole sage cleansing bath or something. I don't know why that woman is so fucking evil and destructive. But mm -mm. tell her go play with the other, uh, in one of her other kids' goddamn relationships in life. You're not coming over here, bitch. No, you're not. Personal growth. It's, it, listen, it, it, it took something for me to stand up and separate myself. And this is not healthy. I understand this is grandma, but grandma got issues. Grandma got issues. Okay. Grandma need to work. Listen, love partnership. Hmm. Gemini, you are grounded. I feel like you have a very loving and committed partnership right here. Don't let nobody fucking meddle in your goddamn relationship and drive you motherfucker crazy. If when you walk into the door of your house, if your kids are fed and you're fucked and feeling fabulous and your man is good. And, and if this is Gemini man, your woman is good and the bills is paid and everything like that. Y'all don't let nobody come and motherfucking meddle up in y'all shit. Personal fucking growth is about setting boundaries with people. Even people that you love. Sometimes people... It could be your own fucking mother. It could be your cousins. It could be your auntie. It could be some people just are miserable in their own fucking life and in their own fucking right. And they don't know no better but to pour that energy out on other people because they fucking crazy and they need to get themselves together. You know? And I do definitely think on the Gemini part, especially if this is a Gemini female, um, there is some strong emotional hate that is being built right now because she got to go. Mm -mm, Cause she's starting to piss me off. Because when mm -mm, nope, I sure won't. I sure don't. 
So give me guidance over here for my Gemini's. Come on now with that one on card. Listen. Sure. Come on. Give me um, guidance for my Gemini's in regards to the situation. This definitely seems like a home life situation. And praise God. Come on. Can we praise God for that bag? Come on, Gemini. Claim it, y'all. Y'all please claim that. Praise God for that bag and that stability where you don't need nobody. Like, nah, we good. The fuck? No, I don't need you come over here to do mm mm. No, mm mm. We got the Princess of Wands and <laughs> I'm sorry, why would that Princess of Wands hit my damn table in the reverse? It, the first thing I heard is like, I should fucking crack this hoe in the fucking head. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I still feel like I'm young. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely feel like whoever this is, you might be a little bit younger than me, you know. And you're still, you're developing yourself with this personal growth card. But, honey, when I'm trying to tell you that someone got you fucked, you fuck up, girl. And that you was just like, I should just, just bat this bitch in her fucking mouth like... Oh, I just feel like some anger <laughs> brewing up inside of you, but pop. Listen, the f and then you got the three of swords. Yes, this is somebody. And that's why I'm trying to tell y'all the three of fucking swords is not necessarily all the time a third party situation with um a person cheating or meddling in your life. It can be like your family and friends. And the three of cups to me represents friends and relatives. Okay? You got the three of cups in the reverse. It's like, I don't even want to go um to like family get togethers and shit like that on your side of the family no more because your mother is like a fucking thorn in my backside and i'm tired of her and i just want to be able to love you without having all these other people in our fucking relationship and it's really beginning to piss me the fuck off like i don't even want to go over there and chill with your family no more like for real me and the kids is just about to stay at home and don't don't even take my children over there because I don't even want that bitch feeding no negative energy information, telling my kids dumb ass shit and feeding. No, because I feel like it's to me. Like this could be someone's child's birthday or something that's coming up and motherfuckers is not invited because she's gonna piss me off and one day I'm gonna really fuck your mother up like on God. Like I'm really trying my best here. I am trying my best to be mature, but God is still working on me. And this is what y'all got to understand. Do you understand? And this is causing an issue. And what I fucking hold dear to myself, this is my relationship. This is my fucking life. Do you, do, are you, are you seeing what I'm saying? It's like, I, I would have been better off if he was just cheating on me with another bitch, but it's not. It's, it's this motherfucking woman. It's not even cheating that's causing issues. It's motherfuckers family. It's like when I first met you, shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to go, we used to hang and we used to do everything. Now, I, it's like, I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's like, I don't understand what I did. Uh, You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, is it that... I feel like there could be an issue with a mother um, having an issue with the women that possibly come into her son's life. And like she is there, her son's table and she is there rocking stability and she may not have a personal life, but her life may revolve around still taking care of her grown kids, even if they're, you know, grown or whatever, and you coming around with this table and having this happy lifestyle, it's like, you don't need, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe the girlfriends in the past, like, lived over there, or, like, the mother was, like, a very, very big resource or source to, you know, her son's relationships or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need that. You don't need her to be that close. You don't need 
her to be in your life like that and that's a problem because she could possibly feel like you're taking her son away from her and so now you're the enemy your competition you you know what i'm saying there are really some fucking older women that are really that fucking sadistic like that because they don't have no fucking life and now she's about to be a fucking sword in yours and it's like no <laughs> This, this, she crossed the, she crossed the line with me, um, like, honestly, a place of no return. Let's get over here, because it's like, mm-mm. Look, do you see this right here? It's like, I just had to split the damn deck in the name of Jesus. And then what is this, the ten of discs in a reverse? So, I feel like, okay, so I'm just going to break it down like this. Let me just go ahead and take these like that. Because I just had to split the damn deck. So, I basically feel for you, Gemini. I feel like you, your relationship was almost... I don't know if it was almost on the verge of destruction. Because uh, I feel like... I don't know if it's like... um A lot of people have a lot of negative things to say against me. And I feel like, because to me, these are swords. I feel like this is things that people are saying about you that it's like, I can't even believe that my own people or people that I thought was my own people, like now all of a sudden, like, really? Really? And it's like, um, I feel like there's, there's certain words that just can't be taken back. And it's come from one multiple sources that this person has said this, that this person feels this way or whatever. And it, and I want to say if y'all are not on the verge of divorce, um, because of someone's relative or mother or something causing an issue, it's like um, some people saying some shit against you that are like very hurtful. And it's like, I almost can't even stomach it no more. Like, y'all could take this shit. You know, I, I like, I, mm-mm. So, I don't know, Gemini, did you divorce? Uh, did you, did you divorce? Because it's kind of looking like that. It's ever, like, you were on the brink of divorce. Because especially over here, we're saying sorrow over a loss with all of this shit. And strong emotion, have a passion of love. It's like you can hate these motherfuckers because your relationship got destroyed because of this bitch. Her alone, she's so responsible person for all of this shit that was said. All of the enemies that were created. Like she did this. I want to say this family was fine. They were thriving. Before this bitch got the meddling. And I want to say you could have walked away from it all. But you walked away into a fucking bag. <laughs> You're not going to drive me crazy. You're not going, and, and I'm and I'm being 100. It could be a big possibility that Gemini might not be letting them kids go over there because if you've divorced and broke up because there was a meddling ass mother, and if you feel like that meddling them that the uh, father about to take them kids over there to that goddamn mother over that mother house, no, you're not taking my kids the fuck over there. You sure won't. I promise you, you won't. Hell no. Mm -mm. It's mm -mm. No, no, no. Mm -mm. It's like certain shit just couldn't fly no more. It got to a point where certain shit could not fly no goddamn more. Let's wrap this up for Gemini. What's to come in the future? I see we got the bag. Personal growth. Because I feel like Gemini felt like, I, like I'm stable on my own. I could just walk the fuck away. I don't have to deal with this. Um, and I feel bad for this, whoever this male is, whoever this person is. Yeah, you got the book. So it's like some secrets or some shit came out it's like you definitely learned something here in gemini it's like you learn a set of rules um no you just said that's a useless book of information you said it's a useless fucking book it's like i think you learned that you went through this experience for no fucking reason you know what i'm saying it's a useless fucking book you know what i'm that's what y'all are telling me fucking useless you know what i'm saying i don't know if you're looking at 
the experience or these fucking people or something. It's just like... <laughs> Again, this is like useless fucking information. A whole bunch of shit that let y'all know fucking where. I don't know if it was some people felt like they were digging up some secrets on you. Or they were trying to find some shit. And like to me, I feel like this is investigating, lurking someone. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like they're getting to some type of... the, the <laughs> Like it's going to lead them somewhere. And like this Ten of Diamonds, it it's like... The Ten of Diamonds is when you've reached the optimum success point in a situation like you reaped all of the benefits you found out everything that you needed to know so it's just time to move over to a new chapter to a new territory and I I felt again you felt like it was some useless reading like I read this whole book this whole chapter of my life after I finished that last chapter what the fuck did I gain out of this shit absolutely nothing Other than, I feel like the thing that you realize is, is that there are bitter bitches like this out in the world. And just don't be like that when you grow up with your sons. Make sure that you go find a happy fucking life, Gemini, so that when your children get older, you're nothing but happy for the people that come into your children's life. Because to me, I feel like this is a bitch that is jealous because she don't have a relationship like that. Like, she raised her sons in a way that she... I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I still feel like her sons ain't shit because your sons ain't shit because they allowed you to come and keep coming and fucking up their relationships and shit like that. So your sons are some weak pussy-ass piece of shit as well. I'm sorry. Let me keep going. And hey, listen, I don't give a fuck. Y'all can get mad at me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You raised some pussy ass, weak ass motherfucking goddamn kids, bitch. Because, like, a real motherfucker is gonna set a boundary with their goddamn. That's just like the whole shit going on with this Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle and all of that shit. He said, no, fuck that shit. Y'all not about to do the same shit to my fucking wife that y'all did to my fucking mother. Princess Diana died running from the pa paparazzi and all of that bullshit and how they try to, mm -mm, no, he said, hell fucking no, that's a real motherfucking man, he like, I know how crazy my motherfucking family and shit is, and you not about to do that shit, cause I said, that's how y'all kill, that's how y'all motherfucker killed my mother, the fuck, hell no, listen, orbs of light, spiritual worm, listen, Gemini I say, I look, God help me see the light, he helped me free my my way to hell up out of this situation. In the name of Jesus, amen. Listen, amen. Hello? Hello? Again, I, I, I feel stability. I feel freedom. Celebrations and parties and just everything. Listen, peace and harmony. You getting new job. Look, again, you are sad that everything had to go the way, but fuck it, god damn it. Fuck it. I'm in my bag, bitch. I'm all the way in my bag. All the way in my fucking bag, bitch. Like I never fucking had it. Sometimes you gotta motherfucking lose a few things to gain some new pounds. And I'm talking about some Skrilla. <laughs> some Skrilla. Some weight in your motherfucking pocket, bitch. No, bitch, that ain't me, bitch. That's my pockets have he carry heavy weight. No. You understand? So I don't know who the fuck thought they was looking up some secrets on Gemini or what I what, what you find? What you find? That I will fucking listen to God telling me to follow the light and it would lead me to fuck away from y'all crazy ass, sadistic, stupid ass, bitch ass motherfucker. Look, I ain't got look, Gemini, why y'all got me cussing people? Why y'all got me cussing people, Gemini? <laughs> Let me give you one more last card. And we getting the hell up out of here. Yeah, follow your intuition. God is showing you, like, especially, it's like, I feel like God has already shown you what the ending is going to be in this situation. You know, reap whatever benefits you can right now, close that chapter, and let's get on to the next goddamn book. Because if you're telling me that it ain't nothing but a whole bunch of you ain't really learned shit, like you already was stable anyway, you understand? It's like, the <laughs> girl... I ain't learned shit, but there's some weak, stupid-ass motherfuckers out there, and that's on game. Okay, so what is this said? You got the Jack of Clubs. I like the Jack of Clubs. The Jack of Clubs, again, is showing, like, 
I don't know, you guys could possibly meet somebody at your job because the Jack of Clubs is like a hard worker. This is someone that is um, very athletic. This is someone that really likes sports, especially like if the whole sports and shit about to pop back all football, basketball, all of this shit like that. If you guys just like whatever your local stadium and shit, you be going to the basketball games and stuff like that, you might meet somebody courtside or you know something like that whoever this is this individual loves sports this person works a lot but this person plays hard too this is the jack of clubs like the jack of clubs is like the life of the fucking party and with this badge here this says order denotes honor and recognition of labor okay if near 48 a sure sign of business success so like again this is showing some type of focus and prominence the Jack of Clubs also represents like someone that wears their like their badge on their sleeve. It's like you you like your title or something. It could be seen in your dress. You know, so if you're like a um executive, you could tell by the way that you dress. Do you understand? Um let me show you. Let me what is blah 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 blah. Clubs. So the Jack of Club is a hard-working, honest, sincere young person. He is a busy, creative young person, most often a male, uh, but doesn't have to be. He is a clever and surprising person. He enjoys sports, may participate in school or community football, baseball, soccer. He can represent an employee and often denotes a young acquaintance from work. He could be a close friend, a business associate associate who is going to be useful to the inquirer in some way he may wear a uniform that symbolize his work or his ranking i am trying to tell you guys so something is changing in regards to order in your finance and career i'm trying to tell you the bag the bag the table <laughs> the bag in the table girl <laughs> like y'all like this money is you new creative activities and ideas ventures a fresh start so don't worry about the past focus on the future baby like what's done is done I feel like you made the best and the right decision for you Gemini the only thing I said is you walked away from some heartache and sorrow and it's like we could have broke up for better things you feel me? And if you did not break up, y'all almost did. You were on the verge. You were on the verge because I'm trying to tell you some strong fucking feelings about this person. And this person has broken the fucking bridge with you that they cannot, can never come back. You, you can never come back. Can never come back. You know, so, um... If you didn't break up, again, treasure your peace and harmony. This person broke that bridge so that they can't come over here with that bullshit. It seems like you're rebuilding. You get into the back. Focus that passion on this money and rebuilding your family. Because that's what's most important. Your bag and your family. And that's it. So I love you, Gemini. This has been your reading. Y'all click that like button. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, okay? I'll see you next month. Peace.